Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very special 1969 Camaro Resto Mod. As you can see, this is a very nice car with tons of paint and body work. This car has had a ton of little things done to it, like the cow hood. It's had the marker lights shaved. A couple of body lines have been shaved on it as well. But overall, a very, very nice car. This car is also supporting a uh, 427 LS7 underneath the hood with the dry sump system, a Magnum T56 transmission, custom interior, custom forged two-piece wheels, big brakes, all the goodies, guys. Roll cage, Detroit speed suspension. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's take a look at the front. One thing I love about a pro touring car, I love the look of a pro touring car. So with the, the painted bumpers versus the chrome, it just looks really cool. Gives it a bad to the bone look. You've got the RS Hideaway headlights there. Um, super cool touch. You've got the hockey stick stripe down the side that breaks up it a little, gives it a little bit of contrast. Looks really good. All your body lines and gaps on this car are in really good um, condition. They line up really nicely, evenly spaced. Looks really, really nice. Even as you can tell, your wiper arms and your uh, window trim here has also been painted in the matte black. You've got a matte black two-piece forged wheel there. You've got the big Corvette C6 Z06 brakes. Um, looks really, really nice. As we look down the side of the car, the body line that runs down on this 69 Camaro is nice and crisp and just looks really nice. There's no dents, there's no waviness or anything like that. Your uh, body lines here on your door are nice and even all the way down. Also, always open the door to show you guys that these doors shut good and they're not sagging. The door does fit good there, shuts great. Uh, you do have your windows, they roll down back here. You do have the cage in here that looks really good. Your drip rails are nice and smooth down through here. They're not cracking or doing anything weird. It looks really nice. The paint and body on this car is, is a big highlight for this car. It looks really nice. Uh, once again, you do have the matte black trim here on the back glass as well. All the glass in this car looks to be uh, slightly tinted uh, and looks brand new as well. You've got a really wide tire out back here. Uh, also the two-piece forged wheel with the Corvette brakes out back. It's a 335 tire, so plenty of traction back there. Um, as we work our way around the back side of the car here, uh, you've got that custom bumper that's been cut and shortened and tucked up against the back of the car. It looks really good as well as the custom tail lights and your custom gas cap. I uh, really like the look of this spoiler. Gives it a real sporty look. Uh, kind of gives it a, um, a nice modern touch to it. It looks really good. And you've got the dual black tips out back here as well uh, to let that LS7 breathe. But speaking of that, let's go ahead and work our way back up front so I can show you that LS7 under the hood. All right, guys, check out this bad to the bone setup. You've got a built LS7 in there with trick flow heads, aftermarket cam, fast intake. This motor right here is pushing somewhere around 580 to 600 wheel horsepower. You got the AC there, you got a catch can, custom valve covers, your coil packs have been relocated. You also have the dry sump system there that comes with the LS7 engine. Very nice setup. And as you can also tell, you do have the roll cage that runs through the engine bay and mounted to the chassis. This really keeps everything nice and stiff to where this car can perform like it should. You do have the Detroit Speed suspension up front as well as the coilovers with the remote reservoirs there. You can actually dial in the suspension with that little black knob on the end there. You do have an aluminum radiator with an electric fan to keep everything nice and cool. Got a nice uh, custom intake there as well. But guys, I don't know what else you would want from this car, anything more. It's just absolutely the perfect package and looks great. Uh, one last thing before we shut the hood here, you do have the billet hood hinges here that are done in a matte black to match everything. And this engine bay just looks really nice. They kept it simple, but it'll be timeless. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and head to the interior. Wow, guys, check out the interior on this 69 Camaro. The exterior of this car is such bad to the bone, it only makes sense that the interior be equal. Uh, every time I get into this car, it makes me feel like I'm getting into the cockpit of like a, a race car or something like that. I mean, the gauges just have a really cool look to them. You've got that Sparco steering wheel done in the uh, Alcantara, just gives it a really cool race car feel. But yet you do have some modern amenities like cold AC, you've got uh, fuel injection, you have these nice seats here that are comfy, but at the same time, keep you, in, uh, keep you in the seat, keep you from sliding around too much. But you've got nice little accents here, like the little rivets there on the console. You got the custom dash with all the billet accessories. You do have a tilt wheel here. 
that allows you to get that steering wheel position just how you want it. You have LED lighting in here, custom door panels here with all the custom trim work. It overall is just super, super nice. You do have this nice roll cage in here. One thing I do like about the roll cage, it doesn't have the straight bar that goes down here that you gotta climb over. It actually dips down. It's actually easy to get in and out of this car. You do have the G-Force harnesses here to keep you in the car. Like I said, getting in this car is a whole nother feeling. Uh, it just feels really cool to get in here. It definitely feels race car-y, but at the same time, it's definitely comfortable and uh, could be cruised every day as well. You got that manual transmission over there. You also have some auxiliary gauges over there as well to keep your eyes on, but overall a beautiful interior. But let's get to my favorite part and let's take this one for a drive. Right, guys we're cruising in the 69 camaro and one thing that i'm very very impressed on this car is yeah you can drive it fast yeah it handles really good but at the same time guys you can roll the windows up you can cruise just like we're doing right now you can have the ac going and it's a comfortable car that you can easily go on the hot rod power tour or cruise this around town but guys when you want this thing to be an animal it can definitely be an animal it's one awesome car i love the cockpit in here um, one thing that's really nice on this car too, if you don't want to hear that beautiful LS7 screen, you can turn that Kenwood radio on. You've got a nice 12 inch sub in the trunk that sounds absolutely amazing. But to be honest with you, I like the sound of this LS7. So I like to keep the radio off. Beautiful sounding motor. This is an excellent performing car. This suspension and brakes are dialed in perfectly just absolutely a phenomenal car that's what it's all about guys this is one badass car and if you're waiting to buy this thing don't wait long because it won't last long because i might buy it <laughs> But let's get back to the shop, put this one on the lift so we can show you how nice the bottom side is. All right guys, we got the Camaro back here at the dealership after that amazing drive. As you can tell, the bottom side of this car is just as nice as the top side. We're gonna go ahead and start up front here. As you can see, you have a nice aluminum radiator, nice and clean. This is a fairly fresh build. It's had enough shakedown miles on it to make sure that this one is ready to go. You do have a power steering cooler here, as well as a oil cooler that is tucked I don't know if you can see it. Let me grab my flashlight. It's tucked up there in the kitchen and it's got its own fan. It's kind of hard to see. Um, maybe we can get some B-roll of it. Um, but overall, the bottom side of this car is very nice. It's all Detroit speed suspension. You have their cross member, their A-arms, their coilovers with the remote reservoirs. You got nice long tube headers here, all stainless steel, dual to an X-pipe and then dual all the way out the back. Very, very nice under here. You got your manual T56 transmission here as well. Um, your subframe connectors all from Detroit Speed. The bottom side of the car is done in like a black undercoating or rhino lining. It looks really nice and it protects the bottom of the car. But overall, very clean under here. This has all the goodies on it that you'd want. As we work our way to the back here, you do have a four link system here with a sway bar. You have a nine inch rear end with an aluminum drive shaft. Um, check out this brand new gas tank you have back here as well. It just looks really, really nice. And you can tell that this is a fresh build. If you're interested in this beautiful Camaro, give us a call at 770-738-7111. You can ask for Chris, which is me, or my partner, Justin, and we can help you with anything from financing to shipping. Uh, but this car has already been inspected by our mechanic, so it is ready to go. There were no issues with this car. It's ready to hit the road and to be enjoyed. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and give us a call and we'll help you out as much as we can. But with that being said, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate all the support that you guys give us. But with that being said, we'll catch you on the next one.